Well, some metro schools did very well on the list. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson joins us now with a look at what they're doing to succeed. And what happens, Lisa, to the kids who don't? Well, as you know, Kansas City has some very high performing schools, but in the instance when those kids are in those schools and they don't make the grade, they have to make some tough decisions, work harder or move on. You get the idea. It's only fair that the colonists chip in for paying for it. For the second year in a row, two Kansas City charter schools scored perfectly on their MAP scores, University Academy and the Ewing Marion Kaufman School. You can't have a great school without great, talented and dedicated teachers. Tony Klein is the superintendent of University Academy. He says their rigorous curriculum and high expectations demand excellence. One of the unique things about um, University Academy is we have a no social promotion policy from our board, so students have to be ready for the next grade level before they move up. Klein says 97% of their students are ready by the end of the school year. However, the parents of the 3% have a tough choice to make. There are some that will reluctantly you know, accept that and, and repeat a year here, and there are some that will, uh, you know, choose to go to another school. Chanel, go ahead. Chanel. The Ewing Marion Kaufman School opened its doors near 63rd and Paseo in 2013. The college preparatory charter school serves grades 5 through 12. It too scored perfectly. We intentionally double up on all of the core subjects, math, uh, ELA, um, and we make sure that they're receiving double the amount of instruction that they would receive somewhere else. Um, and we also really make sure that the instruction they're receiving is at a really high rigor level. Kaufman takes in 245th graders every year, but Loftus admits mobility or students moving is a problem for the school. Every time a student leaves the school, I get an email because I want to see why are they leaving the school. And I mean, the number that come across my email that say moved out of district, moved out of district. Loftus says keeping students in the classroom and strong teachers in the classroom is their not so secret secret to success. Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.